Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics Dio here. Today we have a 2016 Chevy Suburban with a 5.3 liter. This vehicle has a defective transmission. The transmission went bad on it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a transmission out of this truck. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the battery. And I also want to point out that this truck only has a hundred and ten thousand miles okay now at that mileage the transmission already went out that's interesting so let's open the hood let's get the battery disconnected so right there okay so we got the battery disconnected so now let's go under the vehicle so we can remove this transmission. We are here under the truck. We're gonna remove this transmission here. Okay. Now this is four wheel drive. We're gonna have to remove the transfer case first. Okay. And then the exhaust system before we remove this transmission. Now I would like to start at the back so we're gonna remove the drive shaft first. Okay, so we're gonna undo these bolts over here. So I'm gonna put this yellow mark over here on the drive shaft and here on this yoke over here of the differential. Okay, so when we put this back together, we have to make sure that this mark on the drive shaft is going to line up with the mark over here. Okay? So that's good. So now I'm going to undo these bolts over here. These bolts are 11 millimeter bolts. So here comes the first two bolts. So now we're gonna remove the drive shaft. So since we got all these bolts over here undone and we already marked our drive shaft, so now I'm gonna tap it out just like that. So now we're just gonna slide the drive shaft out just like that. So now we're gonna remove this front drive shaft. It's basically the same process. We're gonna undo these two bolts over here, two over here and then two more up there. And after that, I'm gonna undo this clamp over here so we can remove the drive shaft. So I'm gonna mark it first and then we're gonna remove it. So let's mark it yellow. We got our yellow mark over here.
So here comes the first two boards. Okay. So here comes our front drive shaft, so right here, I'm going to get it out of the way. So now the next step is going to be removing the exhaust. We're going to remove these two catalytic converters. I'm going to show you the nuts that I'm going to undo up there so we can remove this exhaust. So to get this exhaust removed, we're going to have to undo these nuts over here. Okay, there's this one. There's another one back here. I hope you can see it. You see those two nuts? We have to undo them. And then there's another one up here. Okay, that one up there. And then this over here also has the same number of nuts. So there's one over here. There's another one up there. And there's a third one. I hope you can see it that third one over there okay so after we undo all these nuts so three on this side and three more over here and then we're gonna disconnect the O2 sensors I'm gonna disconnect this O2 sensor here and then this one okay and there's another one up there that needs to be disconnected okay and then we're gonna come back here and undo this clamp okay so this clamp is really rusted out so I'm gonna have to cut it and we're gonna install a new clamp over here okay now after we undo this then the last step is gonna be removing this cross member so we're gonna remove this cross member over here so we're gonna undo these two bolts and then two more over here we're gonna undo the transmission mount, okay? We got two nuts in there. Once we remove this cross member, our exhaust system is gonna come out. Okay, so now let's do that. All right, I'm gonna start by disconnecting the O2 sensors first. It's right there. And then I'm gonna disconnect the one up here. So the electrical connector of the one up here is over here around the fender well. All right, so we got these disconnected. So the connector has a tab up there that you have to press down and then pull. Okay, so we got that disconnected. So now we're gonna disconnect the one on this side. It's good. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so we got all the three nuts on this side undone. So now let's go to the driver's side. So here comes the last nut. 
So as you can see, our exhaust system is now moving. So that's good. So here's what we have now. As you can see, this is moving. So I got these nuts over here undone. Okay. And same thing over here. Since I haven't drained the transmission yet, I'm going to drain the transmission. But this transmission oil pan doesn't have doesn't have a drain plug. So I'm going to undo the bolt for the oil pan so that we can drop it and drain fluid out of the transmission. I'm gonna undo the 10 millimeter bolt around the oil pan so we can drain this. I have a drain pan down here. So we're gonna let the oil drain. So I do have a drain container right here. Oh wow, there are a lot of metal shavings over here on this transmission magnet. I will show you all the metal shavings over here on this transmission oil pan. Check this out. You see all this junk? All this came out of the transmission. Now look at all these metal shavings over here. You see all these, look at this. You see all these metal shavings? See that? So this transmission is really, really bad. See that? Ooh. So we got some components in the transmission that are deteriorated. Look at this. Okay, so since we drained the oil out of the transmission, now let's reinstall this oil pan. All right. So we did this just to get the oil out of the transmission. I didn't have to remove the oil pan but I removed it because this one doesn't have a drain plug. So that was the only way to get the fluid out of the transmission. So now I'm gonna put back all these bolts. So we got this bolt cut out. Okay, so now our exhaust system should be able to come out. So now I'm gonna disconnect all the electrical connectors 
around the transfer case. All right, so we got the big connector unplugged. So here comes the wiring harness of the transfer case. So this electrical connector over here is what I was disconnecting. This is the main one that goes on the electric motor. Okay, this shift motor. There is actually a little plastic lock piece that goes over here. After you undo it, you have to press this down, press it down and then pull. And it's the same thing with this one. So this is the locking piece I was talking about. Okay, so we got this undone. I couldn't really show you what I was doing up there because it's so tight over there. So now we can just push this wiring harness back out of the way. All right, so we got the transmission jack under the transmission. All right, so we got the bolt for the cross member removed. So now we're gonna tap it out. Just like that. So now our exhaust system should be able to come out. So now we're gonna remove the transmission mount. I'm gonna mark it first, okay? I'm gonna put my mark on the transfer case because we're gonna reuse the transfer case. So now we're gonna remove the transfer case we're gonna remove the transfer case nut. We're gonna remove all the nuts that hold the transfer case to the transmission. So there's one over here. So this one, there's another one over here, and there's another one up there. So we're gonna remove all of them around the transfer case so we can get the transfer case out, okay? So I'm gonna remove these nuts so that we can get the transfer case out. So we're gonna undo these nuts over here. And then this one. So the bottom one, I'm not gonna remove it completely. I'm gonna leave it on. This will be the last one that I'm gonna remove, okay?
Now I'm going to lower the transmission just a little bit. So I'm going to do the same thing up here so I'm going to remove all the nuts on this side All right, so I got the bolt up there removed. So all these bolts over here are removed. So now there's only one left, this one down here. So I'm gonna jack up the transmission a little bit more. We're gonna go up a little bit. So now we have to tap the transfer case out. Okay. All right, guys, so we got the transfer case almost separated from the transmission. So I'm gonna remove this last nut over here. All right, so here comes our transfer case. So we're gonna lower, we're gonna lower the transmission jack just slowly so we can get the transfer case out of the way. So Mr. Sibyl, you're gonna come over here on this side. So just hold it, hold it up there, yeah, hold that. I'm gonna lower it. Okay. So now you come forward a little bit, yeah. And go down. All right, so here comes the transfer case. So here's what we got after removing the transfer case. So now we're gonna disconnect this wire over here, this electrical connector for the transmission. I'm gonna undo this plate over here. Okay. And after that, we're gonna remove the starter. All right guys, so now I'm going to undo the starter. So the starter has a cable back here that I have to undo. And then we're gonna undo these two bolts over here to remove the starter. And once we get the starter out of the way, we're gonna have access to the torque converter bolt through the starter opening, okay? So I'm gonna undo these bolts over here so that we can remove the starter.
So after removing the starter, as you can see, we now have enough room over here. So now we're gonna remove the torque converter bolt. So this first bolt over here is what we're gonna remove. So I'm gonna undo this bolt. This is the torque converter bolt. I'm gonna show you how to remove one and then I'm gonna remove the rest of them off camera, okay? So it's basically the same process. I'm gonna undo this one, then I'm gonna spin the engine until I see the next one, and then I'm gonna undo it, and so on and so forth, okay? Until I get all of them out. Alright, so here comes the first torque converter bolt. I'm going to remove the rest of them off camera and then I'll bring you guys back up. So I got all the torque converter bolts removed. So now we're going to undo the bell housing bolt. So I'm going to remove these bolts over here around the bell housing. So we're going to start on the passenger side and then we're going to go to the driver side. Alright, so now I'm going to remove this dipstick tube. Okay, so we're just going to push the dipstick tube up. Okay, we're just going to push it up and out of the way. So I'm going to have to lower the transmission just a little bit to get the dipstick out completely. But in the meantime, I can remove this bolt over here now. So we're gonna get this out of the way. All right, so I got the transmission lines disconnected. So now we're gonna undo this bolt, this one and that one up there. And then this one over here for this little plastic cover. All right, so I'm not gonna remove these two bolts yet. I'm gonna leave them on. So now I'm gonna remove our shifter cable. So I'm gonna undo these two torque bolts and then I'm gonna remove this nut over here so that we can disconnect this lever from the transmission. Alright, so we're gonna get this cable out of the way. So now let's go to the back of the transmission and lower it so we can get access to the top bell housing bolt. So we are here at the back of the transmission. So now we're gonna undo the bell housing bolt that are up there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. So we do have two bolts up there, 
okay so I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show them to you so there's one over here so I'm gonna remove this nut and then there's another one up there behind that wiring harness once I undo those two bolts then we're gonna remove the transmission So here comes the second one. So I got both top bolts removed. So everything is freed up up there. So now we're gonna remove the last two bolts we have over here on the side. And then we're gonna lower the transmission. Okay, so we pretty much have all the bolts removed, okay, from the bell housing. So now I'm going to pry the transmission back so we can remove it. All right, so now we need to get a pry bar and pry between the transmission and the engine. So we're gonna pry this until the transmission cracks away from the engine. All right, so now the transmission is freed from the engine, so now we're gonna lower it. We have separated the transmission from the engine. As you can see, the transmission is now free. So I'm gonna push it back a little bit. So just like that. Now I'm gonna start lowering the transmission slowly. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Now we're safe. Okay, so now we're gonna go down a little bit more. So we're gonna make sure that all these wires and lines are out of the way. So we're gonna keep lowering the transmission. So I'm gonna lower the transmission all the way. Perfect. So here is our transmission. The transmission is out completely. And then we're gonna prep our surface over here. Okay, 